Welcome to our memory card recommendation for the brand new Canon EOS R6 Mark II. Yes, the camera was announced just today. We already finished all our testing, so stay tuned which memory card to buy for your hopefully brand new Canon EOS R6 Mark II. <laughs> What hasn't changed compared to the initial Canon EOS R6 series is the memory card configuration. So still two SD memory card slots. What has increased is both frames per second, so speed and image resolution up to 24 megapixels now, meaning there's a huge increase of gigabytes or megabytes per second the camera has to write if you're using the 40 frames per second combined with the full resolution. So that's a lot of data. I set the camera up to war and the electronic shutter so the real 40 fps and artificial shutter noise so you can actually actually hear something. So let's try. I know that's quite amazing it's like yeah taking a video but with raw images but as you can hear we are already limited by the buffer and now we can shoot in short intervals but the camera have to clear the buffer again and again and again. The memory, car memory card controller is quite fast that's not the problem it's just a huge amount of data. So how can you increase your time? Um, I did all the shooting with raw image quality. You can go into the menu as before and set it to CWAR, so the compressed format. And there's a slight increase, as you can hear. So it's maybe not twice as long, but let's say a 50% increase. And that's, yeah, kind of cool, I think, for, let's say, sports photography, wildlife photography. So that's an easy tweak how to increase the already good performance of the Canon EOS R6 Mark II. You could also obviously reduce the speed, so not 40 frames per second, a bit less, and therefore the image buffer will last much, much longer. But you clicked on this video to learn which memory card to buy, so let's finally answer the question. Luckily for us, it's basically the same technology as in the first Canon EOS R6, meaning especially the image processing and therefore the memory card controller. So we could speed up our tests a little bit and we have about 70 memory cards tested. If you want to check out all results, click on the link in the video description below. The test you heard before were taken with the Say brand V90 series, but you can basically choose, yeah, all better UHS2 memory cards, Sony Tough G series, Kingston Canvas, React Plus, you know, all the great names. We put some recommendations in the comments, uh, not in the comment section, in the video description below, so you can check. If you want to save some money, there are basically two recommendations from my side for now. It's the Lexa 1800X and the Sabrent V60, Rocket V60 series, quite a new card. So I do the same test, still in raw image quality, so the highest quality. And let's do it, we're in the image buffer, so basically the same performance as with the faster cards. But now you can hear the intervals are a bit longer and the camera shoots, yeah, maybe a bit less images. But let's say if you don't do continuous shooting that often, I would say it isn't really worth it to buy the fastest UHS2 memory cards because you can save up to 50% with those mid-range UHS2 cards and you are still good to go. What I don't want to recommend to you is buying a slower and cheaper UHS-1 SD card because you can produce a lot of data in the Canon EOS R6 Mark II, even if you do continuous shooting just once in a while. So it's definitely worth it to invest a bit more into your memory card if you already bought or going to buy such a great camera. If you enjoyed this video so far, then please leave a thumbs up and maybe consider to subscribe because when we finally hit the 1000 subscribers I can activate the info card which is so much more convenient for you, all of you out there, than clicking on the links in the video descriptions all the time. So do yourself a favor and subscribe for the channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time, which will be just in a couple of hours with the next great camera announcement of today. So stay tuned.